Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Earth's Muddiest Bastards. I'm Mark Storz and with me as always is... Chris Sally And... Rob Morphy. We've been seeing a lot of Wonder Woman trailers as Rob has said. A lot. But, There's the last video that we did was for a TV spot. Yes. Chris called it. A bunch of you in the comments called it. Thank you. We labeled it wrong. We put the wrong video up. We watched the completely wrong thing. Yeah, oh, we did? But... Well, people label it that. They're like, trailer 97. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, but Anything we, that's we in the spot, spot, I feel like it's the, the 400th fucking trailer from Wonder Woman. Yes. It's the most anticipated DC movie yet, as far as I'm concerned, but I'm at the point of yeah, oversaturation. We're going to watch okay, this okay, and we're going to see. Okay, okay, let's keep our hopes I'm high. I'm really concerned. Yeah. All right, let's keep our hopes high. Well, this has some, apparently some new stuff, so let's so, uh, uh, yeah. Thank final. you to everyone that commented on the last video, right, right. and uh, John Wonder, we're going to be looking for your comments on this, so uh, make sure you comment below. Wonder. Here we go. He thinks Rob is the intelligent one. Thank you. She's got Diana. awesome boots, mm -hmm. dude. She's got awesome dance. My team does not make you a hero. Uh, what if I promise to be true. careful? Just a shield, then, Diana. No shot at you. Be careful of mankind, Diana. Awesome. And I mean, they do out. not deserve you. You've told me this story. This was your time. What is this place? Who are you people? We are the bridge to a greater understanding. Right. What is your mission? Well, here's the thing. You are in more danger than you think. The boys in the trenches called her Dr. Poison. Millions would die. The war would never end. I'm going, Mother. If you choose to leave, you may never return. Who will I be if I stay? We'll come. To the war. Well, technically the war is that way, but we gotta go this way first. How can a woman fight in this? Who is this young woman? She's my, uh... And, um... Diana, Princess of the Mystery. Prince, Diana Prince. Believe that this war should stop. Help me stop it right now. Yeah, that's so stand 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 Wonder Woman. There's no way they have 50% more than June 2nd. Well, there is. There is. All right, there you have it. Uh, cool. Uh, definitely, this is the this is the, the the rise of the warrior. This is the the official final trailer. That's about we're going to label this one. So it's so that seven so trailers. So there's one more trailer that comes out. We can't be. Uh, I'm not going to watch it. If there's another trailer, I'm going to feel like I accidentally saw the whole movie out of order, and I'm not yeah. going to watch. I am going to say though, this trailer does get me even more excited you know, because you get to see more. There is more stuff. You see her stealing. I was uh, the, yeah, the, the lasso the and the shield and the sword. And yeah. I, I was worried about this trailer. I thought, I need to see her cut that pillar one more time. Like, I need a case of space. Yeah, I know. The knee I'm slide. Like, yeah, and the, the knee, knee. I'm like, I'm sort of okay, done. But. but they did give us enough of a taste. A little taste of uh, yeah. the mascara. A little yeah. taste of... A little more storyline. Yeah, why, you know, the mom doesn't want why? to go. Of course, they don't trust the world of man and all that. Yeah, she I mean, knows anyway. Uh, Chris Pine is constantly going to say befuddled things. That apparently is going to be what the Steve Trevor character does. Yeah. Like, he, he'll just say things like, I was made by Zeus. Like... That's interesting. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's always going to be like, Who knew? Like, what? No. <laughs> yeah. Where's the beef? <laughs> Where, maybe maybe where's the beef, yeah. really? But her, maybe her, they'll bring it back. I'm loving her it. Her climbing castle walls, 
her uh, having spectacular battle scenes on the World War II front. I mean, it's a fascinating period to set it in. Uh, like you said, Tony Jine, people through the window. Yeah. You know, yeah. or maybe I'm into it. It's 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 going to be supremely action oriented and fun and 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 super pro feminist. All things that I'm completely uh, behind. It is the most excited I've been for a DC Me movie too. since oh, hands down. the first Man of Steel. This looks wow. really good. And, yeah. and after all the. F- Epic fails, undeniably, that in our opinion that DC has had, this might be the one time they get it right. Dude, Dr. Poison? Dr. Right. Dr. Poison's a tough we name. Talk, we talk no. to, well, that's a tough okay, name I, to get behind. Because I, don't, I don't know... They call her in the trenches. I don't Dr. know... Dr. Poison. The, well, you know, I don't know I the know. history of the character, but, but I want to say that Dr. Poison was her originally... Her half a fake face is really I think Dr. Poison was originally a Wonder Woman villain from the original Wonder Woman It's a, it's a real possibility. Don't quote it me on that. Well By be. all means, I'm sure I'm wrong, so leave those comments in the, in the bottom and tell me how wrong I am. That's fine. Regardless, that's awesome looking. No, that absolutely. It still looks so good. So good. Dr. Poison gonna see it. Dr. Still Poison gonna see it. Yeah, we're all going to pay real money to see it in a real theater. Throwing out mustard Big gas. Life. Yeah, I'm there. No, it, it, it looks dope. It looks fun. It looks dynamic. She seems to be the very best Wonder Woman that's ever been cast. She's not a gorgeous, I athletic, was violent. Yeah. Uh, it's going to do that neo take on, on Wonder Woman, which is... A true Amazonian, uh, not someone yeah. who's subservient to men yeah. in any way, who yeah. is a warrior first and takes charge, and I love that. That's my favorite interpretation of the character. And so I'm super glad they're going to do it. I hope it goes into hyper-feminism territory, because that's the best. And it deserves to happen. It sure. deserves to be a... This could start a whole new trend, because they're really... I know, you know, it's not like a proto-liberal signal. There really aren't a lot of strong female characters that deliver the goods consistently. No, no, the no, there's screen. not. And that might be why maybe they pushed, uh, maybe the reaction to this is why they went to tap Joss Whedon for Batgirl. For Batgirl, Girl. yeah. Absolutely. It would make sense. Who better? I pray yeah, exactly. this is a trend. So, it's about time we've all known super strong women, and I want to see this reflected on the silver screen. And not just in, like, potent dramas where moms do spectacular things to save their kids, but in superhero no, over yeah, the top yeah, epics. Yeah. It deserves to happen, Absolutely. and it looks like it really finally did. I'm super stoked. Me too. Yeah, same here. And I can't see um, another thing, so please don't release so anything else. <laughs> just real quick, there was some talk that apparently uh, DC and Warner Brothers and whoever weren't pushing this enough, but this is kind of oh! like the ninth This is trailer. the most sold movie I've ever seen. Yeah, well, it's at least I've seen, three trailers and yeah. eternal TV spots. I've seen I feel like there's been five tons trailers. Of stuff out for so I really feel like apparently I, I'm not sure how they're not how people think that they're not pushing the Wonder Woman. They, they're movie. worried. I, I read somewhere I've seen that quite they're, a bit. they're worried that it's going to do less box office than they thought a few weeks ago. Do, do you know due to expectations or whatever, like whatever uh, demographics they're looking at. But I think this is going to do fine. I can and if the movie's good. Word of mouth will carry it. How can DC people? Do you think there's actual DC people who think this looks worse? If there's DC people that no, think this isn't as good as know. Man of Steel two. Dude, then first off, that are no, they're trying, they're, they're, they're trying they're, to build listen, characters like no, Marvel. What are they thinking? No, no, it's not dark enough. They're on some weird dark Reddit board, or they're in 4chan somewhere under anonymous. Don't don't worry about those people. Those people uh, are fine. We leave them at their corner of the internet with their fraud yeah, things. Yeah, we, yeah. I, fair I, enough. Let's hope. Let's hope this is the. Way. I'm excited. Chris, are you excited? Yeah. All right, Rob, are you excited? Absolutely. And I this hope looks it awesome. Up. This looks super cool. Uh, this trailer. I don't. This is the third review that we've done. Reaction we've done for Wonder Woman. I feel like it's the 25th. I feel like wow. we've lived Wonder Woman for many years now. And we are ready to still see, still we are ready to see her yeah. in the theater in IMAX. So there you have it. Thank you for joining us for this week's episode of the Earth Some Ideas Bastards. We are a weekly podcast available on That's iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and TuneIn, uh, embpod.com. Check us out on Facebook, the Earth Some Ideas Bastards. Uh, and join our group. It's just the Earth Some Ideas a Bastards. Group. Search that group. It's a closed group. One of us will approve you to come in One there. And Maybe. We'll be talking to you soon. Later. Oh, that was... That's just... I'm no, done, no, I'm done that was that. the best one. No, that was great. No, that was the that. best one. Yeah, that's the last gunshot that has to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the NRA. <laughs>